Portland look better. From your head to your toes. Watch Holistic Strong, the best channel for mind and body videos. Welcome to Holistic Strong, episode 11. This video is all about sweet potato benefits. While they're packed with benefits, there are some drawbacks to eating them as well. Sit back and relax, and learn about the delicious pros and perhaps unpalatable cons of sweet potatoes. A friend of mine eats sweet potatoes every day, and asserts that her body's natural defenses are getting stronger because of sweet potato benefits and its positive nutritional wallop. I decided to examine if her pro-sweet potato stance is justified, and so I researched sweet potatoes purported benefits. Before hitting the books, there is an obvious nutritional connection to be drawn. The deep orange-yellow color of sweet potato indicates that the antioxidant, beta-carotene is present. As we know, beta-carotene converts to vitamin A in the body, and this conversion process may very well induce benefits. Sweet potatoes are also high in vitamin B6, vitamin C, and potassium, all necessary for good health. And such health benefits do not have to come at the expense of weight gain. In fact, one half of a large sweet potato has just 81 calories. Let's go into specifics and list seven primary benefits, in no particular order. Later, I'll have to disclose some of this power food's drawbacks and risks. But now for the good news. 1. They're high in powerful antioxidants. Vitamins A and C serve to protect cells against aging and disease. And the more color-rich sweet potatoes are, the more antioxidants they contain, and the better job they can do to fight health-compromising free radicals in the body. The highest level of antioxidants can be found in purple sweet potatoes, often found in Asian markets. They contain a high content of pigment-producing anthocyanins, indicative of a high level of antioxidants. Surprisingly, purple sweet potatoes, with their high anthocyanin levels, contain 150% more antioxidant power than blueberries. Perhaps sweet potatoes are the reason that the Japanese, on average, live so long. Please feel free to watch our other video on Japanese longevity. 2. Sweet potatoes are anti-inflammatory. Inflammation is a dangerous trigger that ferments many debilitating conditions, such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, atherosclerosis, brain degeneration, and more. Instead of trying to reduce inflammation by looking through your medicine cabinet, why not look in the refrigerator for answers? Sweet potatoes have the right anti-inflammatory constitution. They contain vitamins A and C, beta and alpha carotene, choline, anthocyanins, and magnesium, to protect the integrity of cell membranes. They may be able to thwart the potential health risk posed by heavy metals and oxygen radicals, particularly as we digest sweet potato goodness. An anti-inflammatory diet can ensure sound physical and emotional health. 3. Speaking of our emotions, sweet potatoes can produce a sense of calmness, and decrease depression and anxiety. Its potent combination of thiamine, potassium, and especially magnesium, can ease tension and send the blues away. According to research conducted by the University of Maryland Medical Center, inadequate magnesium lowers the neurotransmitter, serotonin, to the brain. Antidepressants have shown to raise brain magnesium levels, suggesting a magnesium link to the state of our mind. Moreover, other research shows a correlation between the level of antioxidants and our emotional state. Some researchers speculate that antioxidants can treat mood issues, and recommend foods, such as sweet potatoes, with high amounts of antioxidants. Sweet potatoes may exert mood benefits with its ample reserves of vitamin B and folic acid. 4. Sweet potatoes not only help improve mind health, but our gut health. Who doesn't want better digestion? The fiber, soluble and insoluble, are primarily responsible for this phenomenon. Such fiber can be fermented by the colon's bacteria, creating short-chain fatty acid compounds that protect and energize the cells of the intestinal lining. The sweet potato's antioxidants may also be at play when it comes to better digestion. Research shows that antioxidants in at least purple sweet potatoes encourages the growth of bifidobacterium and lactobacillus species, bacterial good for the gut and digestion. Other noteworthy studies have shown that deficiency in vitamin A increases gut inflammation. As you already know, sweet potatoes contain ample gut-friendly vitamin A. 5. Sweet potatoes may also serve as an ally to folks with diabetes. The potato's high fiber content helps to keep it moderately low in the glycemic index GI, although you have to be careful in how to prepare it. There will be more on sweet potato preparation later. Research demonstrates that sweet potatoes contain adiponectin, the same hormones that fat cells release. 
Adiponectin has a reputation for improving metabolism and insulin regulation, making the sweet potato an anti-diabetic food. Initially, I was worried that the 26 grams of carbohydrates in one sweet potato would negatively impact blood sugar, but this seems to be balanced by the 4 grams of fiber. The phytochemicals in sweet potatoes also tend to make the sweet potato more than acceptable to eat for those with diabetes. Perhaps it's best to combine the sweet potato with a protein source to make certain the diabetes is kept in check. 6. The sweet potato seems to improve vision and brain functioning. First, let's examine sweet potato benefits to the eyes. Eating foods, like sweet potatoes, rich in beta-carotene, help keep macular degeneration at bay, and prevent dry eyes and night blindness. Once again, anthocyanins, plentiful in purple sweet potatoes, come to the rescue. They defend eye cells from damage, and according to scientific study, also protect the brain by decreasing inflammation and stopping free radical damage. Mice studies show that anthocyanins improve learning and memory in mice. Let's hope that the effect is similar in humans. Regardless, we already know that high consumption of fruits and vegetables leads to a lower risk of mental decline, Alzheimer's and dementia. As such, add a helping heap of sweet potato to your plate tonight. 7. Although I'm reluctant to include this sweet potato benefit, some researchers assert that sweet potatoes offer some cancer protection. This is predictable due to the potato's high levels of antioxidants. Anthocyanin's health benefits are also touted. They may offer a protective element in the development of certain cancers, including bladder, colon, stomach, and breast, at least in animal studies. Human studies are needed to determine whether high anthocyanin foods, like sweet potatoes, can be part of an anti-cancer food arsenal. As you can see, sweet potato benefits are numerous. I did not even mention its sleep-inducing effects, ulcer-protecting qualities, hair and skin beauty benefits, its fertility-boosting capabilities, its blood pressure-regulating qualities, and more. This really is a superfood, but not without its drawbacks and risks. One adverse effect for the looks conscious is carotenodermia. In simple terms, your skin may turn yellow-orange if you eat too many sweet potatoes over a given course of time. This is a temporary drawback that will reverse itself once you cease and desist consumption of this beta-carotene food source. Another concern about sweet potatoes is that they're high in dietary oxalates. These oxalates become problematic if they don't bind to calcium during digestion and subsequently excreted. If oxalates are not calcium-bound to the stomach or intestines, they travel as waste to your kidneys. They can then be excreted via urine, but if too much builds up, kidney stones can form. Ouch! So you can prevent this problem by reducing your intake of high oxalate foods. Other people take calcium with meals to help the oxalates bind, and or drink a lot of water to flush everything out. Moreover, sweet potatoes are not for everyone. They contain mannitol, a form of sugar that can cause stomach upset, bloating, and diarrhea in sensitive people. In addition, speak with your doctor about your diet if you're on medication, such as beta blockers. High potassium foods, like sweet potatoes, can contribute to too much of this mineral for the kidneys as beta blockers can limit the uptake of potassium from the bloodstream. Finally, be aware that baking or roasting sweet potatoes doubles the GI index, causing blood sugar spikes. It's better to boil sweet potatoes to keep the glycemic index low. Boiling also helps to retain nutrients so you can reap more sweet potato benefits. And most nutritionists recommend eating the peel of a sweet potato, which has nearly 10 times the antioxidant power as the flesh. However, one nutritionist I went to advised me not to eat the peel because she believed it contained chemicals, such as ipomeomorone, that could hurt the liver over time. My recommendation. Eat the way grandma encouraged me to eat, everything in moderation. Overall, I hope this video has encouraged you to consume more sweet potatoes, and then gain from its myriad benefits. Thanks for visiting our Holistic Strong channel. Subscribe and share.